there are some unlock criteria for this game that are extremely tedious than others. So, like, some of the characters we already unlocked, like Jigglypuff, Luigi, and Dr. Mario, were pretty easy enough. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. But for some others, you would have to have this game active. In fact, I think it's only just in matches for 20 consecutive hours or do a thousand matches. And there's only one character that can do that. Oh, oh, I wanted to throw that. Wow, that just fell through the pit. <laughs> I almost forgot you could do that. Oh. I almost forgot you could do that. You can SD with Kirby's forward throw. Oh yeah, that's right. That's another thing that's introduced in this game too. Directional throw attacks. Yep. Yeah, directional throw... Uh, directional throw attacks. A new record. There are some characters I have to unlock doing every single character in Target Smash. And what I'm doing here is going through 14 characters in Classic Mode, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong for, uh, correct me if I'm wrong for this one. But I feel like I should be doing the event matches instead, just to get the other characters pretty quickly. Another thing they actually also introduced is, uh, since there were polygonal characters in 64 and wireframe characters in Melee... <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe that still works in Melee. <laughs> I get it, he was giant, and there was a small ceiling above him, but that just reminded me of Smash 64. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh, here's a new one. No! Damn it. <laughs> Those were some item trophies. God, what these these AI characters won't stop doing is fucking pummeling with one single move, much like that fox jab. This guy, uh, this Zelda won't stop down tilting, and it's working. What are you doing? <laughs> that was your penalty. You have suffered the consequences. <laughs> You have consequences for your actions. Like eating. Whoop. Put your hands together if you want to clap as we take you through this monkey rap. Huh. <laughs> I don't know if Donkey Kong sounds like a fucking lion in this game. He definitely does in uh, Smash Brawl. Oh, if that hit the green Donkey Kong over there, that would have been nice. I like item snipes.
Nice. Woohoo! Bubble Blast KO. Kirby's airspeed and running speed is slow in this game, so what? Don't even bother. In fact, the fastest character in this game is Captain Falcon again. Only un- oh, hang on. Let me see if I can do it again. Oh, hang on. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, that's so that's so fucking funny. I I just can't believe that's a thing. Like before Bowser's command grab. That can also SD. Hello. Um whoa. And it's also a grab move too, so like... What's also funny enough too with that grab move is that you can actually mash out of it before he executes or... Before he plummets down with the move, so he can just see Kirby... Plummet to his death without anybody in his hands. And I'm pretty sure I want to show that when I play with Patrick again. Really? Wah. Ah, god damn it. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Ah, whatever. Yeah, his side, his side B in the air in this game is not really as uh, predictable as it is in Ultimate. Like, it's just a normal swing, not like the circular swing. I still remember they showed that in the Smash Brothers Brawl E3 trailer. I was like, oh my god, they're just gonna keep all the keep all the same moves. But no, they. They revamped and um, reworked most of the characters in that game. So the opening movie of Melee mostly uses FMV cutscenes from its E3 2001 trailer along with some scenes of actual gameplay. Oh, excuse me. The FMV scenes were given particularly high attention by the developing team. According to Sakurai, the team wanted to create an entire high-quality FMV sequence in the game to highlight the newly released GameCube console's graphical power in comparison to previous consoles. So I think this was probably a launch title for the GameCube. The development team worked in three different animation studios in Tokyo, Japan to finish the FMV opening. In addition, continuing the trend starting or started in the previous game, the opening also directly segues. Is that how you spell it or pronounce it? Into the title screen with the announcer calling out the game's title. The E3 trailer has also been found early opening in this sequence. The clips of actual gameplay had been considerably changed from the final version. It is the first pre-rendered cutscene in the series. Before all those uh, cutscenes in Smash Brothers Brawl and Smash Ultimate. Uh, we'll probably do one more classic. And we'll get back to it in the... Yeah, we'll get back to it after a while. We'll do Pikachu. Pikachu was one-tricked by Tempo Axe in the competitive scene. Much like how Esam is with Pikachu. Blah. Yeah, Pikachu is one of the mostly known characters to like be one-tricked by like rare like it's rarely picked in the competitive scene in both Ultimate and Melee. And it has like one player that's really good with this character. 
So, Tempo Axe is in melee, and ESAM is for Smash 4 and uh, Ultimate. Unless he also played Brawl competitively, which also did Pikachu. So many boxes. Good lord. Yeah. There we go. The cast of 25 playable characters, 26 if including Zelda's alter ego, Sheik. Spoilers? Good lord. Spoilers? It's a stupid game. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh. Oh. Hang on. Uh, yeah, Zelda's Alter Ego Sheik includes all 12 characters from Super Smash Bros. 64, so it was 12, and doubled it to 13 newcomers, 14 counting Sheik. Of these, 14 are available from the start, 15 if Sheik is added. They really like to mention Sheik. I mean, she is, like, one of the best characters competitively. Uh, including all the veteran characters except for Jigglypuff and Luigi, and 11 more which can be unlocked. Pretty much go into spoilers for this game. It's like 20 years. Also, I just saw the details on Dr. Mario's Mega Vitamin there. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh. Yeah, just let him die. Just let him die. Oh my. Oh god. Uh yeah, of the new characters, the great uh, the greatest number are from the Legend of Zelda universe. Surprisingly. Uh, trophies, 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 Raygun. Paratroopa. There we go. Uh, if Zelda and Sheik are counted as two characters to go with Ganondorf and Young Link, which are the other two unlockable characters from the Zelda games. Oh, we're, do we're gonna do a Thunder Jolt fight? <laughs> We're gonna do a Thunder Jolt fight. Let's go. Oh, wow, that killed. <laughs> that, <laughs> that fucking killed. Oh, my God, that's weak. Mighty O. God, what I would give to what I would give to have the C stick enabled for this game because like especially for the aerial attacks <laughs> nice uh, although the Mario series also takes three new character slots for Bowser Princess Peach and Dr. Mario added on top of these two universes added two characters each with the Fire Emblem series making its Smash Brothers debut with Marth and Roy. With Roy making its debut in any game. In fact, I think Roy was debuted before his actual game. For the Game Boy. We're gonna go down here. Since Pikachu is a little bit faster. Oh dear, I messed up. 
God, that's a long way down. All right, never mind. Let's not go that way. Oh my god. <laughs> you see how fast Pikachu can rabbit jab in this game. You can literally just do tasks with this game and it would be like a million seconds. That is literally Pikachu's rapid jab attack, even though he doesn't have a rapid jab. It's just like zero it's like negative frames with that jab. Oh boy. Whoa. Uh. Uh. Oh boy. That does like two damage? What the fuck? That literally does like two damage for up air. That's so, that's so dumb. <laughs> that thing does like a lot more damage in ultimate. Uh, I said about the Zelda characters, the Mario characters, the Fire Emblem characters. And the Pokemon universe adding Pichu and Mewtwo to its two existing characters. The three other characters added are Falco, a second character from the Star Fox series, Ice Climbers, and Mr. Game & Watch from two highly venerable Nintendo series. But there is some trivia for this game that I like to talk about later in this LP that there were plans to be a lot more characters to be added into this game before Smash Brothers Brawl. Surprisingly enough, like there were some characters that were planned from Sakurai and from other companies that were actually like third party. All right, so we're going to go back to or we're going to go Back to that later, I like to do event matches. Starting with the Trouble King. Fight Bowser in a classic Mushroom Kingdom clash. Ugh. Excuse me. So pretty much I've said every single character that is playable in this game. Guess they really weren't so oh my god. Oh yeah, it's two stocks. Really? <clears throat> All right. So yeah, like I pretty much said every single character playable in this game, but there are some other characters that were planned to be playable in this game. Oh yeah. But, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Huh, DK. Donkey Kong. So weak. Whoa. Whoa. Thank you. 
Woo! Let's go. King of the jungle. Or Lord of the Jungle, a duel of epic proportions. Which ape is top primate? Well, that was certainly one-sided. Bomb fest. Bombs are everywhere in this explosive battle. And some of these, uh, some of these events you can actually uh, do with selected characters, and some you can choose your own character. So for this one, it has Link and Samus. 